Hello everyone. My name is Ben and I'm with National History Day in Idaho. Today we'll be talking about building your argument, so let's go ahead and get started here. At this point, you have been researching for weeks, and now it's time to build your argument. A historical argument is a conclusion or interpretation of a topic's significance in history, and it's supported by evidence. Let's go over what should be included in your historical argument. First is a thesis and introduction. A thesis is a short statement that tells your reader what the author will prove in his or her project. Your thesis should be embedded into the larger introduction because it helps the viewer understand where the argument is headed. Next are theme connections. Theme connections should be integrated throughout the analysis. Next, we have background and context. Set the stage for your viewer by explaining the background that led to your events. What happened? Basically, tell us what happened. What are key events? Who are key people? Uh, ideas? Any transformative moment should be really clear and succinct here. Now we have multiple perspectives. Multiple perspectives are needed to enrich the understanding of how people interpreted their experience. And it also gives your audience confidence that your conclusions are fair. Now we have significance, both short-term and long-term. Arguments should tell why a topic matters in history. What was the change over time or larger historical lessons? Finally, wrap everything up with a conclusion. It should be a few sentences that distills the project's major finding and completes the argument. Our first task is to draft a thesis statement. Every thesis should have three components. First, your thesis should tell us who, what, when, where, and why about your topic. Second, your thesis should tell us how your topic connects to the theme. And third, your, your thesis should explain why your topic matters in history and what was the impact that your topic had over time. For example, let's say that I am doing a project about the Titanic and the theme is breaking barriers. In this example thesis, I have included all of the who, what, when, where, and why of my topic. I state how my topic relates to the theme and I use key words from the theme. And finally, I tell why it matters and how my topic impacted history. Now, I'm going to take the claims that I made in my thesis and really explain each one, provide evidence to support those claims, and then provide analysis that shows how the evidence supports my claims. I need to prove the claims that I made in my thesis with evidence. My thesis makes three major claims. First, that the barrier of dangerous sea travel was broken by the Titanic. Second, those barriers were broken because of the results of the investigations conducted by the United States and Great Britain. And third, additional safety requirements since the Titanic have made sea travel much safer. So back to my first claim, maritime travel was very dangerous in the 19th century and many lives were lost. I begin by summarizing my first claim. Then I'll provide evidence that supports that claim. Here I'm using primary sources about other boating accidents to illustrate that evidence. Then I finish by including my own ideas and analysis. If I were making an exhibit or a website, I would give my claim a name and make it a heading, and then put all this information on my board or a web page. Now let's take a look at my second claim. Investigations by the United States Senate and the British Board of Trade showed that much of the loss of life on the Titanic could have been prevented. Now I'll summarize this second claim and provide evidence that supports that claim. I'm using primary sources here from eyewitnesses and those investigation reports to illustrate that evidence. Then I finish by including my own ideas and analysis. So if I were making a documentary, these words are what the narrator would say. 
and the images would go across the stream, excuse me, go across the screen. And if I were making a documentary, I would probably use a lot more images. Let's move on to my third claim here. Additional safety requirements that were instituted after the sinking of the Titanic made travel by ship much safer. So like the others, I summarize my third claim and provide evidence that supports that claim. Again, I'm using primary sources to illustrate that evidence. And I will finish up by including my ideas and analysis. If I were doing a performance, one of my characters would probably reveal this information. Or this information could come out in a conversation between two characters. To finish my argument, I conclude with a brief summary of my argument. The sinking of the Titanic was a tragic accident. However, the lessons learned by subsequent investigations broke barriers of danger, made sea travel safer, and prevented even more tragedies from occurring. If I were writing a paper, this would be my concluding paragraph. Thank you for listening to Building Your Argument by National History Day in Idaho. If you have any questions or are in need of some resources, please check out our website at www.history.idaho.gov backslash NHDI. Happy researching.